Hello, I hope you're well. Wow, it's been a long time since I've sat in front of a mic. Let's see if I can get through this. Don't worry, we're both in unfamiliar territory right now, so bear with me. Sorry if I sound a bit drowsy on this one as well, it's because I'm also recovering from a killer cold. So yeah, I've been away for a couple of weeks, mostly because there's some big changes coming, both for the channel and, more importantly, personally too. And by way of announcing our big news, I thought I'd share this piece with you. This digital art piece I've been working on, maybe talk you through the process as well. I mean, I don't know how interested you are in that sort of thing. You may just be here to watch the art. I don't know, maybe you just like the sound of my voice. Either way. This is a Zeze Mushinunu, it's a project my wife and I have been working on based on my son and his two favourite toys, the teddy bear's mush and the giraffe is Nunu. I start laying down the initial sketches on Sketchbook Pro, hence the name. Just kind of flesh it out, get the basic shapes there, maybe put in some details. Once I've got the initial outline, I send it over to Adobe Illustrator where I start inking it. I use a pen I actually created myself, it's uh, not an inking pen, it just kind of mimics sort of the general characteristics of a uh, comic book inking pen. And I'm thinking of doing a tutorial on that on this whole process, like from creating the pens to the colouring process as well. So let me know if you're interested in that and I'll do that. I may just do it anyway, just for the hell of it. Mush the uh, teddy bear is actually, we bought that for Xavier when we found out we were having a son. The day we found out we ordered it and the t-shirt usually says to our number one son, which is actually something my dad calls me as well. Doesn't mean he, I'm his favourite son, it just means I was his first son. And uh, Nunu is a uh, toy Xavier got for his first birthday when we took him to see London Zoo. The day I realised how depressing zoos are. But by now you can probably see they're standing over a cot or a crib if you fancy. So you might start to get an idea of what our big news is. Spoiler alert, we're having another kid. I know, way to bury the lead. We just went for our first scan as well. Everything's cool, baby's healthy, mum is healthy, it's all looking good. But here you can see I start filling in the colour using the pen tool, just mapping out the basic colours. I'll come in later, start adding tone and light and shadow. Yeah, our boy's a, a big fan of, uh, of Batman, so whenever we draw him in this form, he's wearing one of his many Batman costumes, or just a kind of an approximation of them. But here I start adding the tone, I use a darker tone, and then I start just shaping out the, uh, the darker areas, um, but put them at 40% opacity, and then just layer them and layer them, so you get just different gradients of uh, the darker tones it's uh, just yeah first uh, I mean as you can see as well first I uh, just sketch out where I want the shadows and stuff and then I go over it with the uh, darker tones once I'm happy with where all the darker tones are falling I start to add the globe which this time is the uh, yellow blobs but set to 15% opacity so it's just a, just a slight glow so the color behind it is still coming through with that extra warmth over it and as you can see I mean it just really lifts the image a little makes the image a little bit more solid this is a really fiddly finickety bit it was only later I realized I I was making more work for myself in a lot of the way I was mapping out the colours and things. It was quite strange doing like a commentary to an art piece. I've never done anything like this. This is quite an odd experience for me. I'm enjoying it. I feel like a, some self-important director. And now I'm adding a little, just another level of shadow. This is just literally just black blobs put over it, but again, set to I think about 20% opacity. You just play with the opacity, whatever sort of fits best for you. And you just put that over and it just helps make everything look a bit more sort of three dimensional. Uh, yeah, and just touch it up where you need to. Cause that's the thing as well, the shadow and the glow, it's more, I, I kind of just go where I feel like it should be.
there we go. Done. Zeze Musha Nunu welcoming Mushroom into the world, saying hello to their new little brother or sister. Thanks for watching guys and yeah, it's uh, I will be back soon. I'm just having a think about what new videos I can put up so I'm hoping we'll have something soon. I will do vlogs again but I want to do something with a little bit more meat to it. So uh, if you're new to the channel and you like this then subscribe. There will be more art pieces coming soon. Maybe with the commentary, maybe not. Let's see. But yeah, until next time guys, take care, speak to you soon, goodbye.